Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another math lesson. Uh, thank you guys for continuing this integration journey with me. And I know that a calculus can be quite difficult, so uh, please bear with me uh, when I'm going through this with you. And unfortunately, uh, there's going to be quite a few more lessons on integration, so. Uh, please uh, try to keep going and understand that uh, once you get most of it, it all becomes really easy for you. Okay, so what we want to do now is just firstly remind you guys about the concept that we learned last lesson where when you try to find the area between the curve and the x-axis and the area is below the x-axis what happens is when you integrate the equation and you find the definite integral it gives you a negative number as the area which you will then have to turn it into a positive okay so what happens when we try to find the area let's say on top of this green area here let's say we want to also find uh, the pink area which is going to be from x is 5 to x is 6 okay so the area we want to find now is the green area plus the pink area so actually I'm just gonna turn this green area into the pink as well so you can see that so the pink area is the new area we're trying to find and how do we find this new pink area now if you just found the definite integral from 1 to 6 of x squared minus 2x minus 15 dx this actually is not going to work and the reason is because uh, the area at the bottom uh, it's going to be negative because it's below the x-axis and this area here is going to be positive because it's above the x-axis and uh, the integral the definite integral is actually not smart enough to combine them for you so if you remember our lesson before just the green area it was 42 right now let's try putting uh, let's now try to find the definite integral from 1 to 6 of this equation so this becomes uh, x cubed over 3 minus 2x squared over 2 minus 15x between 1 to 6 right now let's substitute the number 6 into it first 6 cubed over 3 minus actually the 2 divided by 2 cancel each other out 6 squared minus 15 times 6 minus uh, 1 cubed over 3 minus 1 minus 15 okay so let's put that in the calculator and the answer is negative 38 and a third which we know is incorrect because previously we already calculated the green area which was this section here to be uh, 40, 42 and two thirds so adding on this section here we should get a number that's bigger than 38 but because the area above the x-axis is counted as positive and the area below the x-axis is counted as negative this has given us the wrong answer so in order to find the two areas added together what happens is you will have to integrate them uh, separately so what that means is uh, we're gonna have to delete all of this right so sorry guys just showing you that 
it's wrong before we show you the right one so uh, we're going to do find the integral from 1 to 5 which we've already done previously plus the integral from 5 to 6 of uh, x squared minus 2x minus 15 dx right and the reason for that is pretty simple the bottom area is negative the top area is positive uh, we want to turn the bottom area into a positive first and then we combine with the top area so let's do this again well we've already found previously in the last lesson that uh, this section here is equal to uh, negative 42 and uh, a third sorry and two thirds All right so this was from the previous lesson and now we just need to find the area from x is 5 to x is 6 so let's quickly integrate that um, so from 5 to 6 and now we substitute uh, 6 into the equation so let's make an even bigger bracket uh, 6 cubed over 3 minus 6 squared minus 15 times 6 minus 5 cubed over 3 minus 5 squared minus 15 times 5 and putting all of this into the calculator we have so we have negative 54 negative 54 which is this section here minus uh, negative 58 and a third which is this section here and that'll give us negative 42 and two thirds plus uh, 4 and a third so let's use the graph again to find out what is happening so what we found is again the area below the curve below the x-axis is 42 and two-thirds the area above the x-axis is four and a third so this area here in pink is four and a third units squared so now we're going to add these two numbers together so when we add them together you have to make sure that you change a negative answer to a positive answer so what you would write is uh, the area so we're gonna get rid of all this now or we're gonna stop there and we're gonna say area equals uh, the absolute value of negative 42 and two-thirds absolute value just means turning the negative into a positive plus four and a third so that's 42 and two-thirds plus four and a third and the answer is 47 units squared right so we're going to use GeoGebra to help us check that this area is correct so if you have a look at GeoGebra uh, so we have the same curve already drawn and we're going to use the integral function to tell us the area between uh, x is 1 to x is 5 so integral of x squared minus 2x 
minus 15. Now you're going to put comma 1, comma 5. Now this means that we want to find the definite integral from 1 to 5 of this equation. So it's told us that the area is uh, 42.67 and now we want to repeat the same thing uh, but this time we want from 5 to 6. So put in from 5 to 6, press enter and you can see it's 4.33 is the area of the second section. Now what is the total area? Well you have to add them together but make sure you change the negative to a positive first which is uh, what we have done here which, which gave us 47. Okay thanks guys for uh, following this tutorial and hope you continue this journey with me uh, after this lesson. Thanks, bye.